everyone welcome to this video where we are looking at the sine and cosine of obtuse angle all right previously we learned the trigonometric ratios of acute angle so i'm going to zoom in to here where we actually have acute angles that is angles between zero degrees and 90 degrees yeah and from that particular set of trigonometric ratios we also learned that it is actually a ratio of the size for example the tangent ratio if i were to focus on the acute angle a b a c the highlighted red color angle then using the toa castle we know that tangent ratio of this angle a would then be the opposite side over the adjacent side so just want to highlight the o and the a so that in this particular case with respect to this particular angle a that will translate to the side BC as the opposite side. The side AB will be the adjacent side. And moving on, cosine ratio will be ka adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. So again, I would like to highlight the starting letters. So in this particular triangle here, that will then translate to AB, side AB over side AC. And for sine ratio, it is the opposite side over the hypotenuse side O over H. So that will be BC over AC. However, in this particular topic on the sine and cosine ratios of obtuse angle, this will not work. And for obtuse angle, for a start, we must take note that obtuse angle will be angles that are between 90 and 180 degrees. And therefore, I am going to introduce a new way of defining trigonometric ratios and I am going to bring in the Cartesian coordinates and the axis here therefore you will see this x and y axis and for any point p x and y making an angle of theta We define the sine ratio as, and it will be very helpful if we are looking at this right angle triangle that I've just highlighted in green. And do see that because the coordinate here is y, this length here is y, and the length here is x. So with respect to this particular angle here that is made by this angle theta, then you can see that this will be my opposite side. This will be my adjacent side. And this will be my hypotenuse side. All right, and that's how I eventually get this sine of this theta will be equals to my y over r, okay? O over h, cosine theta will be a over h, x over r, and tangent theta 
the angle will be y over x o over a and with this definition i will then tap on the next part here using an example okay where we have this point p with three four as the coordinates so what this basically means is that i am going to again color this green color triangle right angle and i'm going to draw it out because the very first thing is we do need to know that here will be 3, here will be 4. And therefore, by Pythagoras theorem, I will be able to get 3 square plus 4 square. If I square root it, it will be equals to 5. And 5 will be my letter R. So with 3, 4, 5 here, then I will be able to have my opposite side, adjacent side, and my hypo side. And using our definition, we will then be able to gather that all we have to do now and in this case and in this case sine ratio of this angle theta will be using our definition now y over r this is x and this is y so y over r y is 4 r is 5 Cosine theta will be equals to x over r. So in this case, it's 3 over 5. And tangent theta will be equals to y over x. y will be 4. x is 3. And let's see what happens when we go over to the obtuse angle. And actually, this obtuse angle we do. This is the obtuse angle, yeah. And in this case here, we are actually low, going to tap on the triangle here to help us using our new definition with my x and my y and my r as 5. Then the sine ratio of this obtuse angle A will be equals to 4. Y over R is 4 over 5. Cosine of this angle A will be X over R. Negative 3 over 5. That will give me negative 3 over 5. And tangent of this obtuse angle A will be equals to y over x 4 over negative 3 so that will give me negative 4 over 3 and this is actually how we are going to define the sine and cosine and the tangent ratios of an obtuse angle and we are going to follow up with some more examples on this new definition.